impossible is a curse word. In this prophetic word, we declare that the word impossible has no place in our lives. Yahweh is the God of possibilities and he will make all things possible for you who believe him. So let this word in Jesus' name fill you with faith and confidence to overcome any struggle, any challenge that comes your way. Say goodbye to the curse word of impossibility and walk in your victory. If you're ready to see God move mountains in your life, then this is the word for you. So we here at Chosen Ones Pray encourage you to share this word with your friends and your family so they too can be encouraged, inspired, empowered, and strengthened to elevate their faith and believe Yahweh God for the impossible. Don't you ever let doubt or fear hold you back any longer. Step into your destiny. Step into the promises of God for your life and watch him as he turns this impossible situation in your life around right before your eyes. Heavenly Father, impossible. It's not going to happen. I don't see a way out. I may as well just give up because this is the way it's going to always be is a lie in the name of Jesus from the pit of hell. We come against that spirit in the name of Jesus of disbelief and we come against with the blood of Jesus every curse word in Jesus name. Lord God, the people, evil, wicked people, Father, the enemy, the devil, Satan, his demons, Heavenly Father, love to curse God what you regard as sacred, which is your children and your word and your promise, Heavenly Father. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, but we thank you, God, that those words may have had some power. Oh, yes, God, but ultimately, Father, your children win in the name of Jesus. The enemy loves God to stir up Heavenly Father trouble and doubt Father to get one's emotions Heavenly Father all worked up Father to the point where they're paralyzed and stuck they can't believe Heavenly Father so they say and they don't believe Heavenly Father that you can do it and many are doubting Father that it will happen some Heavenly Father hear your word God and they automatically say well this word does not apply to me but in the name of Jesus Heavenly Father you you are talking God to them. God listener is talking to you in Jesus name. It's going to happen. It has already happened. It's just a matter of time before it manifests before your eyes to see. Heavenly Father remind them God that heaven and earth will pass away before your word returns void in the name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father. God God those word curses Heavenly Father are meant to inflict harm harm God and punishment heavenly father on your children in the name of Jesus but we decree and declare it can't and it will not work it is impossible God for your children to be cursed heavenly father because you've blessed them and father even Balaam heavenly father understood this concept heavenly father he understood this truth in numbers 23 8 heavenly father your divine protection and favor that you bestowed upon Israel heavenly father was amazing God in the name of Jesus you emphasize God in this word that it was impossible father for your children of Israel to be cursed father and it's impossible God because you said they were chosen heavenly father you handpicked them father to bless in spite of their sins in spite of their worship father of other gods yes God it made you angry yes God it hurt you to your heart yes father you looked at them and said I repent that I even made mankind but father your love for them father was even greater because as you look at 
at them, Father, you see God and you saw the reflection of you, your image looking right back at you, Father, and your love, Heavenly Father, endures, Lord, through all generations. Even today, God, Balaam had to acknowledge, Father, that he couldn't curse these people of Israel, your people, because, Lord God, you have not cursed them, Father. See, God, we've got to understand things got to go through you. You are sovereign, Heavenly Father, and you are the authority, ultimate authority, and the final God authority in the mighty name of Jesus. So everything, Father, every decision, God, must come through you in the name of Jesus Christ. But instead, Father, of cursing Israel, as you could have, Heavenly Father, you placed your blessings upon them, God, highlighting, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will fight for yours, God, in the name of Jesus, your own Heavenly Father. You will fight, God, and push back darkness in the name of Jesus for every force that opposes your chosen ones in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and acknowledge Acknowledge Holy Spirit. Acknowledge Jesus Christ the Son. Acknowledge Father Yahweh in the mighty name of Jesus that you are sovereign and you are the one that protects your people in the name of Jesus. Oh God, even our human Heavenly Father intentions, God, and acts will never, God, alter your divine will in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, this scripture, Father, serves as a reminder of the power of God in the name of Jesus for blessing and protecting his children, protecting us in the name of Jesus and coming against with the blood of Jesus Christ and sovereign authority to God, annihilate and destroy every curse and harm in Jesus Christ's name. Oh God, if anybody has ever told somebody it's impossible and even the worst Heavenly Father, God, if we've told ourselves that it is impossible, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, all things according to your word is possible Father, to those that believe. So those that are in disbelief Father, those that are a little bit doubtful, a little bit shaky, a little bit afraid, want to believe but they just see it seems so insurmountable heavenly father it's been this way for so long god if we're honest heavenly father it seems like it's just not going to happen oh god in the name of jesus just as you parted father the red sea in the name of jesus christ made them walls of water stand up and they walked through the israelites on not muddy ground but dry ground heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus Oh my God, you've done so many miraculous things over and over and over and over again for us. You've spared our lives, Heavenly Father, over and over and over again for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing we decree and declare shall be impossible to those, God, who belong to your Father. And even when they don't believe, even when they doubt, because, Father, of your grace and mercy, you still do it, Father, and you make them, God, out of believers. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking, God, that you elevate their faith in Jesus' name. God, they have no other choice. They cannot move forward, Father, unless you lead them. They can't go backwards because there is nothing there, Father, and there are so many distractions distractions, God, all around on the side. Father, help them to keep their focus and gaze on you in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, understand they cannot be cursed, even though it may feel like it. All the word curses in the name of Jesus spoken over their life in public and those that speak behind closed doors, Father, with their names in their mouths in a malicious, slanderous way, God, even God, If they are guilty or not, we decree and declare it won't work. The word curses we think in our own minds, Heavenly Father. We decree and declare it will not work in the name of Jesus. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that impossible will no longer be in our vocabulary, will no longer be in our mind in the name of Jesus. Instead, we replace it with faith, determination, and the power of the Almighty God, Yahweh, in the 
name of Jesus, because God, all things are possible in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, somebody felt discouraged and feels discouraged, Heavenly Father, because it's always been this way. But Heavenly Father, just like you walked with Abraham, God, you didn't tell him everything, Father. You called him, you chose him, you handpicked him, Father, and you led him, Heavenly Father, through the muddy waters, God, in the name of Jesus. You led him, God, in the wilderness, Father. You led him, God, against God. What he may have wanted to do his own will because he was willing heavenly father to follow you abraham had to put feet to faith god in the name of jesus so we decree and declare for your people they shall put their feet to faith in the mighty name of jesus christ they will not be intimidated by roadblocks or barriers in the name of jesus it's nothing but the enemy just doing his job but god oh god in the name of jesus we thank you god for hind's feet to leap over those walls and obstacles and barriers god calls them to keep their focus and their gaze on jesus and the precious promises of our heavenly father and in the name of jesus calls them at the same time to realize father sometimes you put blocks in our lives it's not always the enemy heavenly father it's not always because we're doing something wrong father sometimes god you place those barriers in our pathway for our protection God it's you use it as a way I hear you saying father to reroute us God back on the path you predestined for our lives sometimes we can we have the right heart intentions and the right intentions but we may get a little carried away and veer off God the path that you have for us sometimes we have too many people in our ear too much noise going on around us father and it's hard to hear you God in the name of Jesus so for our protection God in the name of Jesus you place those barriers in the way as a reroute mechanism father and God we thank you Lord for the ability to differentiate father when it's you father when it's us when it's the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ and father we understand again God that you are sovereign in the name of Jesus Christ and when we don't trust the process Heavenly Father oh God in the name of Jesus we can always trust you when we don't trust the process Heavenly Father we can always trust you Father you are the good shepherd Lord you are the good father Father that cares for your children so in the name of Jesus we return worry back to sender in the name of Jesus the enemy and may worry overtake him in the name of Jesus because death will be his portion and destruction and judgment in the name of Jesus he has every reason father to worry but we don't as your children in God in the name of Jesus and Lord Jehovah we thank you God for faith instead of worry worship instead of worry father I hear you saying God God. Some are having dreams, God, reoccurring dreams about old places, old homes, old situations, God. And you're saying it's because, God, they're having trouble. You're showing them that they're having trouble with this particular thing and letting it go. And Heavenly Father, at the same time, some of them know this, God, but it's like a stronghold, Father, has them wrapped, God, in in this this bind heavenly father where it's difficult to break loose in the name of Jesus it's a tactic of the enemy father and it's word curses that we speak and believe and say to ourselves out loud and the the words that we play over and over again father in our minds father the enemy wants to destroy your children God and keep them in that place where they are stuck father but in the name of Jesus God you 
said, you said clearly, Heavenly Father, that you're holding the enemy back. You're holding him back, God, in the name of Jesus to allow a clear passage, Heavenly Father, for your children to pass through in the name of Jesus. But God, you said that you need them to respond. You need them to respond, Heavenly Father. The dreams keep coming back because God, you're saying that they're not getting the message but oh God in the name of Jesus it's nothing like the love of you father even for those of us who didn't have good fathers who may not have known our father Lord Jesus you show us the Father in the mighty name of Jesus and his love. Heavenly Father, you show us your love in turn in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus showed us your love, Heavenly Father, because he went to the cross as you sent him. His purpose on the earth was fulfilled like you sent him to do, Father. And then, Father, you show us how much you love us because he was your only son that you loved dearly. And Father, you sent him here for us, God. And Lord, you allowed him father to die execution style heavenly father so that we can live so we thank you God in the name of Jesus that you love God you saying that I love you too much I love you too much to allow you to miss what I have for you and for that, Father, we take a break and say we thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name, Father. You are amazing, God, in the name of Jesus. And we know, God, we don't deserve anything. But we thank you for your love in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're saying stop feeling unworthy because the blood of Jesus has already covered your limitations. The blood of Jesus has already covered your impurities. The blood of Jesus has already covered your sins though it isn't a license to continue to take my grace for granted when you know better you must do better and Father, we thank you, God, for your word. We thank you for your supernatural enabling power, God, to see us through until the end. Oh, yes, God, until the end, Father, you said you're going to hold our hands until we take our last breath on our dying bed. Oh, God, you are faithful and we worship you and honor you, Father. Oh, God, I'm trying myself, God, to not cry, Heavenly Father, and keep it together, Father. I feel, God, the release in your people. I feel the burden lift, God. I see them coming out heavenly father I see them coming up father I see the chains falling in the name of Jesus I see them walking in power and authority God rebuking the devourer father I see them obeying you father I see it spreading like wildfire to their family God and their family members father who they prayed for who they believed you for who they have cried over in the name of Jesus that spouse is coming back home father that child is coming back home heavenly father that sick one God is, is being risen heavenly father off the sick bed in the mighty name of Jesus that disease God they shall be cured of father God you still the miracle worker in the name of Jesus just as you've healed so many of us father from life threatening diseases and situations now heavenly father and even in the bible days oh God you are amazing Show yourself mighty, Father. Show yourself strong. And Father, you said, when you mess up, repent from a sincere heart. And then I need you to turn and then proceed north. Father, you said, when you mess up, repent from a sincere heart and proceed north. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for your word. We bind fear in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of fear. We plead the blood of Jesus against paralyzing in the name of Jesus. Forces of darkness that wants to paralyze us and keep us stuck in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We call on your name, Jesus. Break them loose, Father. Break 
break them loose, Lord. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, we plead right now in Jesus Christ's name. We decree and declare it ain't going to work. It'll never work in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, God, that your son Jesus came to set the captives free. So we thank you, Father, and receive the liberty and freedom, Father, that your son, Jesus Christ, came to deliver. And he did, Father, just as you sent him to do. And we believe you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father calls us to be careful what we say in these curses. We allow people to speak over us and believe that foolishness in the curses that we speak over ourselves and in our mind. God, you said in Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat their fruits. Those who put their mouths, God, on your children, Father, they will eat their fruit of, God, what they have spoken if they don't repent in the name of Jesus Christ. But God, in the name of Jesus at the same time, them words will fall flat to the ground. It won't even penetrate us, Heavenly Father. And if it has with someone, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for the Holy Ghost refreshing and refilling us and rejuvenating us and lifting us in the name of Jesus, purging us, God, getting that mess up out of us and out of our mind in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we cannot be cursed in Jesus' name. James 3, 4, so also the tongue is a small member. Yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. Father, some of us wrestle, God, with our mouths and with anger issues, Heavenly Father. The root of rejection, Father. The root of violation, Father. The root of distrust. All a tactic of the enemy in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus, we uproot, Heavenly Father, horrible words, angry words in the name of Jesus, curse words and cuss words, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, Peter was a cursor too, God. He will cuss you out in a minute and don't blink an eye and father that was your boy you loved him heavenly father jesus christ used him lord jehovah and he also betrayed jesus christ too and jesus still loved him still used him father for your glory lord and we are no different you're no respecter of persons father god i ask in the name of jesus Heka, glory jesus that you touch our tongues father with your coal of fire in the name of jesus Touch our tongues, Father, with the coal of fire, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch our tongue with your finger, Father, in the name of Jesus. Touch our minds. Touch our heart. Because what's in the heart comes out of the mouth. What's in the mind comes out of the mouth in the name of Jesus. Reverse, God, these word curses and self-condemnation in the mighty name of Jesus. Poor self-image, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord Jehovah, in the name of Jesus for giving us new life in Jesus' name. So the next time someone tells Father us that it cannot be done, we're going to look them in the eye and declare with Yahweh, with God, all things are possible. Father, you said you want us to believe in ourselves, believe in the dreams that we have, because you, Father, place them there. You place those dreams there, those aspirations, those goals, those plans, those visions, Heavenly Father. You place them there. That's why your children can't shake it, Heavenly Father, because it came from heaven in the name of Jesus. You said believe in yourself, and most importantly, believe in me, because I'm the God that makes all things possible. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we rise up and walk in power and in faith, knowing without a shadow of a doubt that all things are possible and that it's going to happen. In Jesus' name, we sign this prayer and we seal it in your blood. Amen.